welcome to week 8 of the 2022-2023 NFL season and these prediction picks with special guest host today. You may know me, you may not know me, I'm relatively new to the gaming community. Hi folks, you call me Badalyn. Nice to meet y'all. I'm very happy to be here for this Halloween special of these prediction picks. Ooh-wee. I don't know much about sports, I don't know much about football, my uh... My real me is kind of just all mountain climby, blah blah blah, doesn't really care much. But you know, it's okay. It's okay? I think I got this. I do in fact think I got this. So, um, taking a look at the last week results, you can see that I'm presuming it was a relatively good week. Things looked really good, and overall the total which was on the lower end, or has been on a shaky end, has been rising up to better than average, which we like better than average. We want to be great. We all want to be great. But we need to... It's a slow climb. As, as someone who's experienced mountain climbing, it is a slow climb. And it's less about the time and more of just as long as we get there and we get there in one piece. And with these upcoming picks, I think we can get there. I do, I do, I do. So ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get ready for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Starting off with the Thursday night game. I didn't know where to go with this. I didn't. Um, I had every intention of taking the Bucks. I had every intention. From day one, all the way up until even last Sunday. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna take them. This is a good spot for them, blah, blah, blah. They'll be fine. And then they got basically shut out by the Panthers. Like, I can forgive Tampa for losing to Pittsburgh. Shit happens any given Sunday. Like, like these things happen. But then you lose to Car Not only do you lose to Carolina, it's, you have that Mike Evans dropped touchdown pass, and then you just have nothing. You have nothing. So it's, uh, it's, I don't know if I can trust this Bucks team. And this is more or less me being the purple individual that I am. Um, if, if the Bucks lose to Pittsburgh and Carolina, there's no reason this Ravens team should beat them. Like, the Ravens should, like, manhandle. If that's what Carolina can do with P.J. Walker starting and no Christian McCaffrey. This Ravens team, with, I think it's going to be a 50% Rashad Bayman and a 50% Mark Andrews, should cruise this game. They should cruise. Fucking get Devin Duvernay or whoever the fuck else is on this roster to do something. Please. But, Baltimore realistically should cruise in this game. So, Ravens, Figure your shit out. Figure it out. I'm having the Jags beat the Broncos, whether it's Rippin or Wilson, I don't care. Jacksonville has some bullshit in London, and at this point, I refuse to bet on the Broncos. I just, I refuse outright. I'm, I'm not touching them. I'm not. You know, even if they win this game by three, let's say. No. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not. So, yes, I'm taking Jacksonville, who... For whatever reason, doesn't really get in London. So until Denver can blow them out, until someone proves me otherwise, no, I'm going with Jags. Speaking of purple, I'll take the other purple team as well. But that being said, again, this is a team I don't like trusting. I I don't want to trust them. And Cardinals with D Hop back might have an offense, or at the very least, maybe they'll get two pick sixes. Either way, they did drop forty. So three and a half, too much for me. This is kind of a cheesy game, but. I feel like if Minnesota does win, it'll probably be by a field goal. All I'm saying. Uh, this pick, you don't have to go for it. I'm not a confident one either, but this is just more a voodoo thing. I want Carolina to win this game so Atlanta can win the rematch. That is the sole purpose of me picking this. I am using dark side voodoo, whatever I can take. I need Atlanta to win their rematch two weeks later. 
I'll explain later. But I just need Atlanta to win the rematch. So if that means i got to sacrifice this game, I'm going to. Carolina should win this game. Which, technically speaking, if the Ravens and Panthers both win their games, Carolina will technically be first place in that division. Fucking yikes, NFC South. Yikes. Dallas over the Bears, but if the Bears are going to look like that, dismantling New England the way they did, uh-uh. I, I, I don't trust Dallas. That could be a fluke, and Chicago go back to sucking again, but I'm... You, you do that to a New England team who I think is better than giving credit for. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm not doing that. Especially when Bailey Zappi came in and gave them all the momentum right back. Uh-uh. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trusting. Not that I trust Dallas anyway to blow them out, but... I think... I think Chicago will keep it close. But I'm taking Dallas. Saints to beat the Raiders. I think the Saints got to get back on track eventually. And again... The Raiders blowing out Houston is not going to tell me anything. It doesn't. I'm going to beat Detroit. I'll take three and a half. Detroit, who is priding themselves on their offense, doesn't, now doesn't even have an offense anymore. And, yeah. Don't care, didn't ask. I'm not, I don't care about Detroit. This might be a little cheapy game, admittedly, especially with how New England looked. But New England has been in the Jets pretty much all the time. The Jets have won a lot of close games. They haven't really blown anyone out. So, I think New England steals the one here, makes the division race close, and kind of brings the Jets back down to earth. I do. I really do. Philly blows out the Steelers. Philly is the best team in football. Sorry. Don't care. Tennessee they handles Houston. I think they handle them. Houston, Houston at this point might be the worst team. And as much as the Davis Mill experiment was fun, I, I think it's time to put that to bed. Houston, go get a quarterback. Seattle and the Giants, I like this game. You can go either way. I don't think I would have put Seattle as a three-point favorite. I think this game should have been a pick em, just because of how well the Giants are doing. I get the games in Seattle. I get it. But I would have made this a pick em. Seattle minus three basically means on a neutral field, these are even teams. But I would have made it a pick em because the Giants do deserve more momentum. And at some point, again, we have to give respect to the Giants. No, we... Vegas has not given the Giants respect. They have not. And it might have benefited them. Actually, it didn't, really. Or, I don't know. I know it struck Gino, who does these things. He took the Jags because he said, fuck you on the New York plus three. So I know he bet on them. But this one, I could see Seattle legitimately winning. And low-key, I think Seattle might just be the better team. Or at least they have more names I trust on both sides. With Brees Hall getting injured, unfortunately, Seattle has a chance to pull a Saints a couple years ago and have the offensive rookie and the defensive rookie of the year. Dead serious. Rams beat the Niners. I get why the Niners are favored in LA. Yada yada. San Francisco bullshit. Curse over the Rams. But I think the Rams bounce back. I think it'll be fine. I don't think San Francisco sweeps them. I don't. DC over Indy. Indy's going to start a new quarterback. Matt Ryan, please, we love you. Retire. Retire after this season. Please. Buffalo over Green Bay, but I cannot convince myself in a million years to lay 11 against Rodgers. I, I can't. And yeah, they've lost three games in a row to three teams who aren't as good. Yes, we're maybe believing in the Giants a little more, and maybe we're believing in the Jets a little more, but... And I like Heineke. Heineke tends to pull up these random upsets out of nowhere. But I'm, I'm not falling for it. And the Bengals-Browns. Browns have kind of had that same voodoo as, like, San Fran has over LA. But I'm taking the Bengals because as much as I love Jacoby Brissett, he hasn't been that dude. He's kind of struggled here. But I'll live the three and a half, so I'll cheat it a little bit. But now I'm also hearing the Bengals are going to be without Jamar Chase. So, I don't know how much that's going to change the offense. I think the Bengals will be just fine. Especially with Cleveland struggling, but... I'm going to take the three and a half with Cleveland just to be safe. More or less. That is what I'm doing. Alright, and those are your picks. Um, we're going to go down through other things real quick. Fantasy! We're getting at that halfway point with a lot of uh, these leagues and whatnot. So right now, in the League of Assholes, 4-3, I'm going to go play Ted Ward. Two, three, and four. 
Discord Finals 3 and 4. My only losing team right now. We've got to bounce back. Hopefully, battling our good friend Raisu, who is 2 and 5, will help us build momentum. Or giving him a win will help him build momentum. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Coconut Mall League. Uh, we're 6 and 1, and we're playing uh, Baldly. I'm, I'm, I mean, Subleaf. Sorry. Uh, Subleaf, who is 3 and 4. And then in the Money League, the Antico Dynasty Individual Pe Defensive Player League, we're five and two playing Brian, who's five and two. Uh, there's like a four-way tie for five and two, and then there's like four or five more teams who are four and three. So very top-heavy. We're all like right there and close with each other. Yada yadas is what it is. But um, yeah, those are my opponents. Those are the records. We're getting close to the end of the season, or at least at halfway point. Yada yada. Um, I forgot to write down another Parlay of the Week play. Whoops. I have been forgetting to write them down for forever now. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? I feel like... Hmm. Let's go... Doing you know, Miami against the spread, I think they should dominate Detroit. Maybe not dominate, but like win convincingly. Miami against the spread, Tennessee against the spread. They should beat the Texans, and they'll win by more than three, obviously. Um, give me the Cowboys straight up, even though I'm pretty sure that line's gonna be big enough that you're not gonna get much money off it. But the Cowboys straight up. Uh. Commanders and Colts, you can probably take the under on. I don't think much team is going to score either point. I don't know what the total's at, but... Uh, and Jags and Broncos under, too. Fuck it. Jags, Broncos under. Commanders, Colts under. Dallas straight up. Miami and Tennessee against the spread. There. There's your cat parlay of the week. And I mean, last week cashed. And I improved it. So, let's see how this week does. And with that, that is all from me. Your favorite antagonist turned to not antagonist, whatever. Battling from the hit game Celeste. Play Celeste if you haven't. Come read my story. I promise you'll like it. <laughs> and with that, that is all from me today. It was nice being here, and I hope to see y'all next time. In the words of the person who owns this channel, peace and love and trust. Enjoy the games. Bye.